So would you please tell us your name? Erin Markle. And when did you attend Susquehanna? From 2003 fall to spring of 2007. Okay, and what have you brought to us today? I've got two things. Uh, one is this stuffed tiger that I made in Charlie's when they did like a Build-A-Bear thing. Oh. Um, that was a uh, Valentine's 2005 apparently. And um, I think it was right before one of their movie nights. And then this is actually something they used to send to prospective students. Mm -hmm. um, and it's sort of a scrapbook of life on campus. And I actually worked in the PR department for my assistantship. Okay. So um, the year I came on, they had me like rewrite it and update it. Um, so it's signed by all of my freshman year friends and me on the inside. Oh. And it, it's got such delightful throwbacks as instant messaging and its importance to on-campus life because we didn't text then. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So those are my things. And as far as why we had a stuffed tiger or a caped crusader tiger as our mascot, I will never understand. <laughs> It's a mystery for the ages. Yeah, I don't think any of us were ever sure either. <laughs> yeah. So could you tell us more about your assistantship? Yeah, I worked in the basement of Seals Grove Hall and um, uh, basically I was helping edit things for prospective students, mm -hmm. things for the alumni magazine. I did some interviews for that of alumni. Um, and so it, it was kind of the most fun when you could kind of be creative and do kind of cut and pasting stuff like this and like hit up your friends for ideas. Mm -hmm. um, and let's see, one time, so you know how they have those big window wells in Seelands Grove Hall for the basement? Because the basement's kind of underground, but they still have like a well. Anyway. Uh, trying to picture it. <laughs> there's basically a dugout hole so that they could have windows in the basement. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. One time a squirrel fell in <laughs> to our window well, so we went and got like a two by four and like made him a little ramp by sticking it down in the hole and he crawled out. So that was exciting. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. But yeah, so, so that was a great experience and my boss there encouraged me to study abroad in Australia, which I did end up doing. And that was before study abroad was mandatory. Um, yeah, it was a great experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's great. I'm trying to think if there's anything else to say. I, get, I don't got anything. <laughs> Do you have any more questions? Um, well, how did you hear about the History Harvest? I got the email, I think, or maybe... It, yeah, it, they, it was an email because I read through the thing they mailed and that didn't say anything about it. Um, but then it, there was an email describing it. So, okay. Yeah. So, what did you study while you were here? Oh, environmental science. Okay. Yeah, and journalism. So, the all the writing for, and the PR office kind of linked in with that. Mm -hmm. um, oh, so because I was in Sealands Grove Hall, I ran into LJ a lot. So, oh. like, he actually, like, remembers who I am. Well, he knows everybody. That's mm -hmm. not special. But... So, have you heard of the board game Imagine If? Um, I don't think so. Okay. Oh. Well, the way it works is if you don't have enough players, you write in people that everybody knows because mm -hmm. you have to kind of guess how people will react to things. So, it has to be somebody everybody has in common. So, we would put down LJ as our missing player. And uh, one time I ran into him and told him that, and he invited all of us to his house to play board games with him and the kids. <laughs> and they brought like cookies from the good catering. Ooh. So that was really exciting. So is LJ like the nickname for President Lemon? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Sorry, I thought everybody called him that. I haven't heard that no, since I've been here like actually. Pres Lems. Pres Lems. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's funny how things shift over time. Yeah. Yeah. But he always signs things LJ Lemon, so we would That's call him true, LJ. Yeah. yeah. So we're all really sad that he's leaving, but I'm sure he's ready to do something else. Yeah. So what activities were you involved in on campus? I did um, SAVE. Is it still here? The uh, Basically the environmental group? Yeah. I believe it they is. came back last year, I think. Okay. At least when I first heard of them. So when I was here, um, campus didn't recycle. Like SAVE ran recycling. So we would empty all the bins everywhere and we would gather everything up, shove it in the bike closet in Cyber. Mm -hmm. Like that thing was just full of garbage. And we would then borrow one of the maintenance trucks, 
fill it with the recycling and drive it God only knows, somewhere in the middle of nowhere, like a half hour from here, and take it to a recycling center. They would pay us for our cans, which would be just enough to buy pizza for the four kids who came. So we would go buy pizza, and then we'd come back. Wow. So we ran the recycling program. Wow. And then my soft, no, junior or senior year, me and this girl, uh, Kristen, what is Kristen's last name? Anyway, uh, we came up with a plan for campus to like actually kind of partner with us mm -hmm. and for the recycling center that's across the street to take our recycling instead. Okay. Um, and we presented it to the board and they agreed. And basically, um, Sealands Grove took our recycling because we would volunteer at the recycling center like once a month or something. Mm -hmm. So that's how we got recycling like kind of started. So, yeah. <laughs> so that was us. Um, yeah, so Cyber used to be um, volunteer housing only. I don't know if it still is now. No. no. Yeah, so you had to be in a volunteer group to live there. Oh. And each of the suites was a different group. So Save had a suite. Computer yeah. co Consultants had another suite. Um, that, compu that group is no more anymore. But they used to be the ones who would go around and help everybody hook up their computers when they moved in. Mm -hmm. Uh, because that used to be hard and <laughs> people didn't used to know how to do it um, and I was sort of an unofficial member of that group because we would just hang out all the time and what else chorus um, I don't know everything gospel choir okay yeah do we have one of those? I think we still do. It, it actually died for a couple years while I was here, so I'm glad it came back. Yeah. yeah. Things ebb and flow, apparently. Yeah, they yeah. do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anything else? Um, so, in terms of computers, I suppose you were here before there was all campus Wi-Fi. What? Yeah. No, you had to have... Well, okay, so there was Wi-Fi in mm -hmm. each building. Okay. Um. But you had to have like one of those cards shoved into your computer. It was before computers could oh, do Wi-Fi on their okay. own. Um, so if you were lucky, you could get Wi-Fi in your room, mm -hmm. and you didn't have to be plugged in. So that okay. was good. Um, but no, it wasn't like you could sit out on the quad and get Wi-Fi there. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Can you do that now? Yeah. Yeah. As long as you're on, as long as you're in the Wi-Fi range of campus. Yeah. yeah. You can be like, because kids out will be outside, like on their computers, just yeah. typing what an essay. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah, we don't need cards or cables yeah. or anything. So yeah, that's, that's great. That's really nice. <laughs> yeah, so uh, it used to be if you wanted to, like, get your friends together to go to the cafe or whatever, you had to, like, IM everybody. Mm -hmm. um, so basically, like, texting now, but on your computer. Yeah. And it was always a big thing to, like, set some kind of, like, lyrics in your away message that passive aggressively said something about how you were feeling right now so maybe maybe it would be about a boy maybe not and and then your profile would be very uh custom built to reflect your personality it was a big thing oh wow yes and there was no starbucks on campus or on the strip we had this thing called java city it was lame um but I loved Charlie's, and I'm kind of sad that it's out in the open now. Like, I kind of liked it being down that weird little hallway. Yeah, yeah it was nice and cozy yeah. down there in the um, base of the deck. Yeah. I mean, the hawk's nest is way better than whatever came before. Like, it was kind of low-ceilinged and weird back in there. But but I don't like Charlie's being all open to the air. But, yeah. Um, no. Do you have any particularly fun stories about your time here that you would like to share? Oh, um, let's see. It's got to be something. So, I wonder if it's in this book. Um, apparently, there used to be a tradition of people putting a pumpkin on the top of the music building. Oh. Um, we must have taken it out because nobody was doing it anymore. By the time I came on board, no one was doing it anymore, but in older versions of this, they mentioned it, so I knew it had been a thing. And um, I think my senior year, one of, like, one of the music groups like managed to pull it off, but how they did it was like a secret, so I think they were like trying to bring it back. Okay. So I knew a girl who was like borderline involved, but she was like, I can't tell you anything. So. Some of my friends who go to the CC and I don't 
Okay. Put yeah. it in there. Yeah. 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 So. We just hide, at freshman year, we just hide stuff in our ceilings, because I lived in Aikens. Yes, so everybody did that. I hid a pinata full of Pepsi cans in my ceiling. <laughs> sure, <laughs> why not? Oh my gosh. Yeah, we did a lot of stuff. I didn't know that was a thing. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Um, oh, so they used to do a thing in Cyber called Haunted Half, where they would take half of the building and turn it into a haunted house. Mm -hmm. And it was run by the um, charity or the service groups that live there, and they would use it as a fundraiser. Um, and my freshman year was the last year they did it. I actually didn't make it in because they like closed the line like right before I got to the front. But the reason why that was the last year is because somebody got overzealous with the fake blood in the bathrooms, and it turns out that stains. Oh. So campus shut that down. Yeah. So. Big blood stains. My friend did a prank on her roommate, and it's still stained there two years later. <laughs> yeah. But I, I don't know if you've spent much time in Cybert, but on the upper floors, there's, like, kind of a weird, very narrow, windy hallway that goes past, like, the staff yeah. apartment. Mm -hmm. And I, I, it just always seemed like that was a perfect place for a haunted house. They do that in uh, the Weber Chapel now. Oh, cool. Yeah. It's actually... it's. I went there my freshman year, and it was actually really scary. It was pretty good. That's awesome. Yeah. Do they do it, like, down in the basement, or...? They do it all around, actually. Yeah. You'll, go, you'll enter, and then you'll go in the line, and then they'll take you, like, from the right around, and then downstairs around, and mm -hmm. then around again, and then you leave. Nice. Yeah, it's, like, really long, but it's super fun to do with a bunch of your friends. So I was in Lutheran Student Movement, which may or may not still exist. I believe so. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we used to play games in the chapel, like Murder. Uh, which is basically like you've got a group of people wandering around in the dark. One person is the murderer. You don't know who. They creep up behind you and they go like this with their finger. So it creeps you out. And one kid got startled and started running and ran into one of the plate glass doors and shattered it. Oh, no. And after that, we weren't allowed to play games there anymore. <laughs> so that was a fun day. Oh, can't think of any other terrible decisions. Um, yeah, we had a nice time here.